So this is what a JSON duality view looks like. I'm gonna do a very simple one to start with. I've got my employee table here. I wanna expose some columns from, from my employee table as JSON. At which point you're going, wow, <laughs> that's hardly a big deal. I've always been able to create views that expose data in certain ways. But I can adjust that to look something like this. This is the cool part. As I said, it's bi-directional. This view is updatable. So if I describe that JSON duality view, it has a single column called data because we're exposing this information purely as JSON. If I query it, I see yeah, for a particular employee, that's what I get. Now, this is using SQL, but this could be, for example, a REST call. It could be uh, something coming from a Mongo API. We support the Mongo API accessing these things. So a developer might be blissfully unaware this is even closely related to a relational database, no pun intended. They simply do a get on a REST call and out comes some JSON. They go, great, it's a document database. So if I update the relational data, I've changed the salary to add 99, it's immediately reflected in the JSON. I added 99 to this person's salary, which I think was what it's uh, 820, immediately reflected in the JSON. But it's bi-directional. If I insert a JSON document, I'm using SQL here, but it could be a put request or a REST call, it could be a Mongo API store request, it's immediately reflected in the relational data as well. It's bi-directional. No one will ever know that the data is relational if they like their data as JSON, and none of your relational developers will ever know that you're giving the data away as JSON format. You have this wonderful synergy between the two needs. Let me make it a little bit more complicated because yes, a one a, a, a table that maps rows you know, to JSON is trivial. Let's do something a little bit more extreme. I've got customers, orders, and order items in your conventional parent, child, grandchild data model. So here's my customer table with some rows in it. Here's my orders table with some orders in it. Here's my order items tables with some order items in there as well. I'm gonna create a single JSON duality view. It exposes all of that as a single JSON document. So I've got the orders, the customer info, and the order items. Notice I flipped it here. It, this thing is driven by orders, not by customers, even though customer sits at the top of the relational model. Then underneath the orders, I've got the customer information and then I've got the order items presented as an array. But this is the cool thing. I can flip it as to how my JSON developers need it as opposed to how it's stored in the database. So if I query it, we're getting a lot now. So this is, you know, here's order number one and here's order number two. I've spelled my surname incorrectly, that's a bit sad, but you can see I'm now getting this relational data back as if it was JSON documents. If I insert some relational data, so I've got my transactional system, for example, or an Apex app inserting a row into an order items table for a given existing order, it immediately appears in the JSON for that order. Once again, bi-directional. If I do a change to the JSON, in this case, I've said, go dig into the JSON, change and fix up my surname for a particular ID. It is immediately reflected in the JSON, but also immediately reflected in the database as well. Bidirectional seamless integration between the two. Very, very cool. That's JSON duality views.